Hello, Fabelia. I have our daily bread for today, and I am just blessed by God today. He um, is just a good God, and I'm just really grateful that despite all today's extra struggles and extra pain, um, He has truly shown up for me and at least given me the grace to get through it in joy and shalom. And then when I, you know, let go as we sometimes do, uh, I've been able to just keep, hey, <laughs> I need you, I need you. And I just am blessed by our Lord for his strength. Um, may you know his strength in the joy and shalom that is our Lord, that is his presence. More and more every single day, I pray. Hallelujah and amen. <laughs> this is uh, Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 and through 19. I did end up including 19. For even if the fig tree doesn't blossom and no fruit is on the vines, even if the olive tree fails to produce and the fields no food at all, even if the sheep vanish, the sheep vanish from the sheep pen, there are no cows in the stalls. Still, I will rejoice in Adonai. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Yahweh, or Adonai Elohim, my Lord is my strength. He makes me swift and sure-footed like a deer and enables me to stride over my high places. Glory be to God. He is. I shouldn't be this happy right now. My body is just like... I don't even know what it's doing. <laughs> Bless be the Lord. <laughs> first, cha first Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. Then Hannah prayed. She said, My heart exalts in Adonai. My dignity has been restored by Adonai. I can gloat over my enemies because of my joy at your saving me. First Samuel chapter 30 and 6. David was in serious trouble. The people were talking about stoning him to death because all the people were in such deep grief over, or over, excuse me, in such deep grief, each man over his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in Adonai, his God. That is where our strength comes from. We must get our strength from God. First Chronicles, if we're to succeed at anything. He says we can do nothing apart from Jesus. It's in John chapter 15. First Chronicles chapter 16, 8 through 13. It says, give thanks to Adonai, call on his name, make his deeds known among the peoples, sing to him, talk about all his wonders, glory in his holy name. Let those seeking Adonai have joyful hearts, Seek Adonai and his strength always, or excuse me, seek Adonai and his strength. Always seek his presence. Remember the wonders he has done, his sons or his signs and his spoken judgments, you descendants of Israel, his servant, you offspring of Yahav, Jacob, his chosen ones. He is Adonai, our God. His judgments are everywhere on earth. Psalm chapter 9, 12 through 16. Sing praises to Adonai who lives in Zion. Proclaim his deeds among the peoples. For the avenger of blood remembers them. He does not ignore the cry of the afflicted. Have mercy on me, Adonai. See how I suffer from those who hate me. You raise me from the gates of death so that I can proclaim all your praises at the gates of the daughter of Zion. And rejoice in this deliverance of yours. The nations have drowned in the pit they dug. Caught their own feet in the net they hid. Adonai, I did include verse 17 as well. Adonai made himself known and executed judgment. The wicked one ensnared in the work of the wicked ones ensnared in the work of their own hands. That's why, we, that's, why that's where our strength and all of our works must come from. They must come from God. They're from our hands. They're worthless. It's worthless. 
Thank you, Jesus, for blessing the work of our hands. Psalm 18 and 1. He said, I love you, Adonai, my strength. Adonai is my rock, my fortress and deliverer, my God, my rock in whom I find shelter, my shield, the power that saves me, my stronghold. Let Adonai be our only stronghold in Jesus' name. Hallelujah and amen. Isaiah 25 and 9. On that day, they will say, see, this is our God. We waited for him to save us. This is Adonai. We put our hope in him. We are full of joy. So glad he saved us. Familia, <laughs> every day that we are given, we have the right to be joyful in the Lord that he is offering us yet another day that every morning his mercies are new and every day is another chance to live for him and to, and to be his and to work and be his own possession. And he has saved us. He daily, he is a daily saving God. That's why he says we must hear the word of the Lord and not harden our hearts while it's still today. While it's still called today, let us hear the word of the Lord, myself included. Isaiah chapter 61 and 10. I am so joyful in Adonai. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in salvation, dressed me with a robe of triumph like a bridegroom wearing a festive turban, like a bride adorned in her jewels. Jeremiah 16 and 19. Adonai, my strength, my fortress, my refuge in time of trouble. The nations will come to you from the ends of the earth, saying, Our ancestors inherited nothing but lies, futile idols, completely useless. I can say that is true. We certainly did. We certainly did. We gained nothing in the denomination and the church that my entire family going back for probably centuries belonged to. It's unfortunate, but... I praise the Lord God Almighty that he is uniting the church and that he will come back for his bride. And, you know, since we're going to be spotless and blameless, and therefore we must all be one in Messiah, one spirit, one, one goal, just one goal, our salvation and the salvation of our fellow brothers and sisters around the world, our kinsmen. You may not like other human beings, Familia, but we are to love our neighbor. And we don't get to choose who our neighbor is. Our neighbors are those in need. And for me, the only thing that I can give is everything that Jesus pours into me and the Father God pours into me every day. And I just pour it right back out to y'all because he just, he blesses me. And so, bless the Lord, I get to do this. 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 32 through 34. For who is God but Adonai? And who is, a, who is a rock but our God? God is my strength and my protection. He makes my way go straight. He makes me swift and sure-footed as a deer and enables me to stand on my high places. And this is the last one. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, Grow powerful in union with the Lord, in union with his mighty strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, may we <clears throat> learn to be clothed in the armor of God and clothed in the robes of righteousness and the robes of salvation that God has just bestowed upon us. And, and we just have to receive it. We have to believe it and receive it and repent whenever necessary and we know the joy and the shalom of the Lord through impossible situations. Again, as I said at the top, I, I should not be this happy. <laughs> I should not care this much, quite frankly. And I say those in quotes because, of course, I should. Of course, I should care. And of course, I should be this happy. I have, we have a God who loves us eternally. And his mercy and his grace and his love is forever. And he's just given us his son 
to be able to receive these things for free because he has paid the price for our sins that we just possibly we just can't we can't possibly pay the lord for our debts and so jesus did it for us all we have to do is just receive the blessings of the lord and if you're struggling with joy because you're going through it i get that oh <laughs> I get that. My back <laughs> gets you. But I will tell you that once you let it go and you find that joy in the Lord, you'll never want to lose it again. Ask the Lord. Ask him. Say, Father God, I, I'm struggling. Use your words, but I'm struggling. I'm struggling to know your joy. And help me to know the joy of thy salvation. Just simply that. If you never, you know, just put it this way towards God. Use your words. But, you know, if, if you never do another thing for me, Father God, help me to know the joy of your salvation. And I'm telling you, he will not deny you. He can't deny a humble and contrite broken heart. He can't. Because he can't deny himself. Glory be to God. Blessed be the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you familiar in the mighty name of Jesus. And may he... Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may he grant you his beautiful shalom and his joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah and amen. Bye, familia.